Retail that listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange yesterday saw the stock locked in upper circuit on day one. Adding to interest in the stock is the news that the big bull Rakesh Junjunwala has bought 12.7% stake in the company. Manish Mandhana of Mandhana Retail Ventures joins us on the phone line to talk about that. Manish, good morning and thanks so much for joining us. First, if you could explain um, what the rationale could be behind Rakesh Junjunwala buying stake, considering that the money will not be going to the promoters, it's only moving from the lenders to Rakesh Junjunwala, right? Yes. Okay, so what could be the rationale behind that? Uh, you see, uh, we had taken loans so uh, creeping uh, and increasing our stake uh, in the parent company. And uh, we took a prudent call to sell certain portion of stake to uh, Rakesh Junjunwala. Uh, and the proceeds from that uh, you know, sale have been used to significantly reduce a uh, large chunk of promoters' uh, loan against release of those shares. And this action will result in, uh, you know, reduction of uh, our pledge shares and consequently result in uh, 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 reduction of the shares. Okay, Manish, now that you have a big investor on board, what's the next plan? Are you looking at some debt reduction for, uh, the, the, listed, for the newly listed entity? Uh, well, the newly listed, newly listed entity does not have any debt as such. It's a, it just has 7.12 uh, crores of debt. So uh, it's almost... Uh, uh, a very less debt compared to the top line that we do. Okay. Manish, this is Varinder, okay. So, so tell us uh, uh, the changed uh, shareholding pattern. Uh, you held 56% as a promoter, 17.5% uh, goes to Rakesh Unjanwala. How much is the left pledged shares in percentage on the retail en entity? In the retail entity, we would hold approximately 43% of uh, our stakes. And as promoter. how much is still uh, the quantity which is still left as pledged? Uh, uh, well, almost 50 percent of the 55 to 60 percent of the quantity out of the promoter's uh, the stake is still pledged, and uh, we are also looking at other ways to repay the residual portion of the remaining loans. Okay, my next question is whether there is change in the board composition because I am also told that uh, you, as a promoter, uh, are not sitting on the board, and there might be a representative from Rakesh Junjunwala who will be on the board. Uh, well, yes, there is a possibility, and the and post D merger, uh, you know, MRVL is uh, going to follow a very strong standard of corporate governance. And to start with, we've uh, already changed our auditors uh, to one of the big four, that is uh, BSR and company. And uh, with a strong and professional independent board, uh, we expect the company to deliver robust, uh, uh, you know, performance going forward. So you are saying that. Uh a representative from Rakesh Junjunwala office will be part of the board? Yes. And you as a promoter will not be part of the board? No. Okay. okay. Uh, can you tell, tell us a little bit also about the parent company debt and how much it could reduce by, say, over the next, uh, you know, 6 to 12 months? It currently stands at about eight, 800 crores or so. Yes. Uh, well, uh, as far as the parent company is concerned, uh, the bankers had, uh, uh, you know, they have invoked SDR, uh, and we are in the process of completing all the formalities of the invocation, mm. and the same uh, shall be done in the next 60 days. You know, well, an SDR would mean that uh, you are looking for a new buyer, even in the uh, Mandana Industries entity? Uh, it will be a strategic debt restructuring that uh, the bankers will, uh, uh, the bankers have invoked, and, and we are in dialogue with the bankers, uh, to come to some kind of a solution and conclusion to uh, to go forward. You know, I also want to understand one more thing. Uh, you don't own the brand which is being human, okay? Uh, it is leased to Mandana Retail Ventures. What is the years in terms of uh, signing uh, agreement with Salman Khan? Till how long it is valid and whether any extension is due or not? Well, the, the, the exclusive uh, license agreement of being human was signed uh, uh, for a nine-year term, and uh, we've finished ap approximately five and a half years of that, and we still have three and a half years left of that term. Uh, the brand basically was created by Mandana Industries Limited uh, from scratch. Uh, it was a foundation of uh, Salman Khan being human foundation, and it, it was our idea to create it into a brand. So we uh, originated the brand uh, from the inception. And uh, our uh, first term of contract ends uh, in 2020 March. Mm. And uh, but we are looking to renew that in the next six months uh, for another term of, a term of nine years.
Okay, so can you give us a sense of how this business would grow? Because clearly, Rakesh Junjunwala has bought it because he believes that perhaps there is some scope in the in the business itself. What kind of growth do you see? I mean, the first half revenues grew a little over 20%. Is that something that we can expect in the second half as well? Uh, most certainly because, uh, I mean, uh, uh, as a brand, being human has covered the distance uh, what uh, many uh, national brands which have got established haven't covered it in 10 to 12 years. Uh, we've done that in about three and a half years. And not only nationally, the brand is also, it is one of the first uh, homegrown brands which is selling internationally in approximately 16 countries. And uh, the whole idea of the business is, uh, you know, the... Um, not only looking good but doing good because it's got three strong uh, unique selling propositions attached to it. Uh, there's a power of celebrity which is Salman Khan. Uh, there's a great product with a great pricing uh, and, and, and the whole concept of retailing. And uh, on top of everything, there's a huge charity element uh, attached to it out of which you know, a certain proceeds uh, which go as royalty to the Salman Khan Foundation is used for philanthropy. So it's a very unique business model, widely accepted, uh, uh, which has been a significant part of the growth of the brand. And also, we are selling this brand internationally and people are loving the whole okay. concept. Manisha, uh, I, I want to check one thing. Uh, your, your recent listed entity, which is the retail entity, is a clean uh, company because of no debt. But the parent has nearly 800 crore of debt. Is there any contingent liability which would come on the retail entity because of the debt taken by the parent company at all? Uh, not at all, because uh, uh, yeah, initially the, the entire liability which was transferred to the uh, retail company was 17 and a half crores, which belonged to the retail portion of the business, and which was approximately 10% of the total size of the business of the parent company. And uh, this loan was transferred to the retail company, out of which uh, 10 crores have already been paid, and there is a balance of mm. 7.12 crores. Okay, Manisha, just two numbers. What price did uh, uh, Rakesh Junjunwala buy the stock? Uh, and uh, what is your residual stake in Mandana Retail? Uh, I'm sorry, Lata. This was an off-market uh, deal okay. and transaction, and the terms of the deal are quite confidential. Fair no. enough. But what is your residual stake, pledged and unpledged? Uh, our stake uh, now remains at 43% in the in the, the retail company. But Manish, and, uh, you have 43% stake in the retail company and you don't have a board seat. Uh, Rakesh Junjunwala has 12.7% stake. He has a board seat. What is the future understanding that he will take more stake? Uh, no, not really. We have we do have a board seat. There's one member okay. of the family on the board. But me personally, when, okay. when I was asked, I'm not on the board. Okay, uh, you know, you. I think uh, how much is the royalty paid by Mandhana Retail uh, to Salman Khan? I think it's, it's around five percent. Yeah, it is five percent of royalty. So, am I right in assuming that if the company grows, which you think it will grow in the next you know few years because of all what you are doing, then the royalty could go higher? Uh, well, we've just increased the royalty uh, recently, uh, about three months ago, earlier from since April actually. Uh, the royalty used to be three percent earlier, which we increased to five percent. Okay, Manisha, I must insist that an SDR requires a strategic uh, partner to come in. Uh, so, are you looking for one in Mandana Industries? Uh, well, uh, I think it's a little early for me to comment on that because uh, you know. Uh, the SDR has just been invoked some time back and we are still strategizing and trying to find ways to, you know, s solve this issue with the bankers and uh, uh, as soon as we have any kind of information, I will definitely come back to you. No chance Rakesh will be that investor? No, Rakesh is only a part of uh, uh, Mandana Retail. Retail Ventures. Okay, my last hypothetical question, okay. Uh, Salman Khan is a brand right now. It may not happen uh, that he may continue with the same stardom after 2020. Uh, mm -hmm. Very hypothetical. If you know what could happen if Salman Khan is not with you, will the brand of that being human stay with you or not? Uh, I think uh, the the most important thing Salman Khan told me when we, we we shook hands on this deal was that this brand has to outlive me because it's got a bigger purpose. Uh, I'm just the founder and the face, but the brand has to continue for generations because it's got a much bigger cause than, than mine. And, uh, uh, you know, we can have any kind of a face to endorse a product, but eventually, uh, you know, uh, the product will survive on its own, uh, on, on the concept of the business and the, and the angle of charity. So Salman will always remain the face and the founder of the brand uh, and will continue to do so. Uh, 
but uh, we will find new ways of marketing the brand uh, because the business is uh, the business model itself is very independently uh, successful all right we'll leave it at that uh, manish vandana uh, thank you very much for joining us with that uh,